You did say, though, that you sacrificed true love to live the lifestyle that you could never thought you could imagine. Yeah. Do you think that one day you will be able to fall in love, though? One day. One day. It's just so hard right now with me and my, my career. My Like, my career now is, like, everyone have a motive. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I could pick a girl. I want I could pick a regular girl and be like, I want to be with her. She already got a motive. Because I always, it's like me reaching, going back. I go back a step. You might be going, starting your career. My career already right. started. So now everything that you do in your life automatically becomes, I have to take care of it. I got to mm-hmm. do this. I got to do this. So it's just like, do I want that for my life? You know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. do I just want to take care of me and just say, whatever I do is whatever I do. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody that I be with, I'm going to have to do the same yeah. thing anyway. But then even if you date someone that has such a high profile and image then it like yourself, it beca- the world is so involved in that relationship Man, too. I, like a high profile, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be interested. All right, let's get to the next video. Every girl be having out. that different motive. Man, y'all the kids keep, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every girl have different motives. Man, you like, it's crazy. Does like, it hurt your you, feelings? Yeah, it hurt my feelings. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? Wait, does it hurt what? your feelings? Well, You're right. It do hurt my feelings. <laughs> What? I don't he understand. To be tricked into he, something, you hurt your feelings. Yeah, yeah man. To have to keep but at on the same doing time, that. You, when you, when you, were you in uh, just caught up in the lights, the cameras, and mm-hmm. you probably a little high. <laughs> people, and, 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 <laughs> and people take advantage of that. Yeah. He wants someone who is like, I want you to like me because I'm funny or because I'm like sweet or your yeah, personality. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I already look good. He's like, yeah, yeah. But I want the that. personality. Mm, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, just, but I really don't even care about that at this time. Yeah, do what you're doing, bro. It is like I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah. yes, you should be. Yeah. I just like I just like what I like. I put seven seconds on the clock. Could you name all your kids in seven seconds? Yeah. Honey. Hendrix is number huh? six. six? Yes, yeah, six. I heard Less that. Six. Is Hendrix the last or you think? Man, I got to have more kids. Oh, Why? You want more? Girl? <laughs> I got one girl. Oh, Why man. do you think you, you would want more? Man, me and my boys, we like best friends. Like, you enjoy your kids. Yeah, I enjoy my kids. I'm building my legacy. Like, I hustle for my last name. You got to understand, when you have a girl, they give away your last name. Right. Mm-hmm. My sons, I'm just thinking about, man, we got all our last names. It's just going to be huge. Huh. Then when, they're like, 50 years, 60 years from now, you're going to speak of me. You're going to speak of my legacy, and that's what you do. This is what I work for. Why would you work, have all this, and have all this success just to leave it with one kid, and then mm-hmm. if something happened, and you just, it's no, it's no more of y'all. You got to keep making hit records, though. Man, I got it. Yeah. That's why I have so much music, like, and so many businesses and so much going on for myself. It's just building my foundation. Ugh. All right. So many arbitrals in there. Well, hello, Knockouts. Tanya TKO here. And I'm a self-love specialist and relationship expert from TanyaTKO.com. I help you learn how to love yourself and each other. And so let's jump into this. You know, I caught a few arbitrals, but I want you in the comments to tell me the arbitrals that you caught. And for those of you who know me, you know the arbitrals are R-B-T-L, reading between the lines. So there are a few different things that I picked up on in there. And there's just so much. Where do we begin? Should we start with the six children wanting seven, the last names, or, ah, I know what to start with. Let's start with how he was talking about how he sacrificed true love and how he's still looking for love. However, everybody got a motive. Now, you know, I want to start off with that because I want to help you ladies peep game. All right. There were so many manipulative tactics used inside of this broadcast. One of the one of the main manipulative tactics that I picked up on, and you tell me because you all may have seen other things that I didn't see or were sensitive to things that I didn't pick up on. But please drop your notes in the comments so that other ladies can peep games. And men, please, I implore you to come forward as well if you dare. So no, so listen, he's like everybody has a motive. So this is game for don't ask me. (laughs) Listen, I mean, I'm keeping it real. This is game for don't ask me for anything. 
I'm not going to provide anything for you. And I'm going to make you prove that you don't want anything from me and that you don't have a motive. Please note how he said that he would not want an established woman. All right. So you don't want an established woman who already has her career together, yet he's in his victim energy about how he's being used by those regular chicks who want the come up because then he has to help her establish her career. So which one is it? So it's like people will speak out of both sides of their mouths. Oh, I'm not your man. Yet they're jealous if you see anybody else. Yet they want to take up all of your fertile time and energy coming over and pretending to be man, but won't say that they are. So here we have this person who on the one hand is like, I, I don't want a person who's going to use me, yet I don't want a person who is already established. I don't want to help a person become established, yet I don't want a person who is. I'm not interested in a person who is established. Another tactic that people use in manipulation is not really completing their thoughts. Listen, ladies, I'm telling you, and men too, ask questions. What do you mean by that? Like when we were like when like when I just did that Sin Santana video yesterday where she was like, oh, black men cater to Latinas. This is when you ask the question, well, what do you mean by cater? Because everybody that's making everybody that's making videos about what it is that she said don't really know what it is that she meant. There's some people in the comments, so power to you, who are talking about what she really meant was lust, but we don't really know. Did she mean that they cater to Latinas that are light complected? Did they, did, or to the culture? I went with the culture part. However, we don't know. So one of the manipulated tact, manipulative tactics that people use is not to really finish their sentences, to be very vague. And as you see the people there, oh, he, 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 just eating it out. Oh, you want to be loved for you, don't you? Listen, don't finish people's sentences for them. It's either in the art of seduction or in the game where the guy was talking about pickup artists and how to seduce women, right? The seduction is has some similar tactics across the board, whether you're seducing a man or a woman. Leave things to people's imaginations. They will fill in the blanks. It's like one of the tactics that people, I'm gonna just look, I'm gonna just zoom in real quick. Ah, I zoom in. <laughs> one of the things, one of the things that you'll notice on, on news broadcasts and other places where they do an extreme close up. I went to film school. Those of you who know me, you know, I went to film school. They'll do an extreme close up and they'll cut off the top part of the head, even come in real close and crop underneath the chin for an extreme close up. And they feel no hesitation with doing that because the human mind automatically, you are, you automatically add in the rest of the head, right? <laughs> that was a silly example but it goes to show that the human mind because you know that there's a top of a head somewhere you don't know if it's flat or whatever but your mind will add in the rest of the details the same with conversation so the human mind will add in all of these other things that you in your heart and mind think and you think that you're having a conversation with this person but you're really having a conversation with yourself and then if you look at his smirk, and I believe it was the second video, if you look at his smirk when he's like, nah, I ain't even thinking about it, I just want to do me, ha, 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 right? Is this man really interested in love and settling down? Is he, does he seem sincere? And I don't know why people are saying that this man looks good. I, you know what? And I actually I hung out with a girl who had us following this guy's footsteps, like, tracking him down all night until we got up in the VIP with him and then she wanted to leave with him. That was an interesting evening. But this man has six kids. Six. And listen to how he's talking about me and my sons are best friends. Right? Really? That already there right, lets me know that you're not in parent mode. Because if you're concerned with being your child, and your children are young, like seven, you can be best friends with a seven-year-old. Come on. It's like you're not in parent mode. You're not full-time caretaker of these children. You're talking about everybody wants a motive. Your motive is to be able to go out there and bust nuts willy-nilly, condomless up inside people, and then up inside women, and then rebuke them or chastise them for wanting the children to be taken care of or whatever. It's like you want your leg, your legacy out into the world.
but then people have problems with um People, you don't want to be there to, to be full-time caretaker. But then as we see, people have problems with paying child support when there's another human being who is full-time caretaker, nanny, babysitter, teacher, night nurse, all of these different things. And then you don't want another man around the child. Like, remember how he was hating on... Because remember, this is the guy who has a child with Ciara. And so listen, ladies, this is one of the things that I'm saying. We have to be more discerning with whose quote unquote legacy we bring forth into this world. This man right here, if he's not putting in the work as father, head of household, husband, if he's not putting in the work, because where are these women? Who are these women? Ciara is the only one we know of that's it's established. So here he is. I don't want to help a person build up their career, but yet I want to deposit human beings into them right? I don't want to help a person get established. I don't want a person who's already established and I don't want somebody else who's around my kid yet. I'm busy. I'm on the road. I'm doing me and I can't really be there to raise my kids full time. I can't really be there to participate in a relationship full time. So he's letting you know right off the bat, I don't have time. I don't have the desire and I don't want you to be established and I don't want to help you come up. So what is it that he's looking for? Tell me what the arbitrals are on that. And then he's talking about how he wants more children. Meanwhile, he's not even being father to the children. He's being friend, best friend, which is somebody who comes in, plays a little game, few games, tell the kids what they want to hear, not really enact any discipline because children need to be raised. They need to be reared from young until they are responsible members of society. So it's like you're tasking somebody else with the full-time job, the full-time duty of creating successful human beings out of your offspring. And then he's talking about this whole name. That, ain't nobody going to be talking about you in 60 years, sir. No, the people are not. If you really think about it, all of the people's children from the, from the, I remember, I remember I was watching, you know, those sweet 16 shows that they have. They would, they had the son of pebbles on there. And I believe her husband was like baby face or something like that. I don't remember, but you tell me. And so the boy was like, yeah, my mom used to be, used to be a singer from back in the eighties. She used to be something, something. And I was like, wow. So it's like all of that quote unquote, like, I mean, you doing trap music, son, who, who you think is going to remember this 60 years from now? Are you joking? First of all, we don't even, while you're over there meandering and gallivanting, we don't even know if we're going to have an earth 60 years from now. But you're talking about this legacy. What is the legacy of depositing children all around who don't have you there to mold them? So his job and duty is just as, as fertilizer. He's just dropping seeds. God, this is, I found this to be really annoying. And I'm like, ladies, we really have got to do better. And it's so funny that this came up because we're talking about not chasing after black men and black men really being there as provider, et cetera. And someone brought up this dude right here. So I'm surprised that this came across my timeline today. And they were like, look, they don't want you to do better without them. They want you to be alone and miserable. And they mentioned Ciara and how Ciara moved on and found a man who could honor her and who could cherish and take care of her and take on her son this man's DNA and legacy into ugh, as his own, right? And then they're like, oh, that man is a simp. Oh, he shouldn't do that. Because they, they don't want you to do better or well without them. Gosh, you know what? On that note, I'm going to leave the comments open for you, to, for you to comment. But listen, please, ladies, peep game. Keep yourself fresh and unencumbered, not tied down by these people. And listen, listen to what it is that they're really saying. Listen to what their actions are saying. And also really pay attention to body language, your intuition, your spirit. Take a look. Rewind that and look at his body language again. This is not a man that's serious about finding.